Hello everyone, welcome back to the fog. It's Bubonic Zombie. So we have found this little crawl space. It looks like it was Eliza's room. We have the creepy teddy bear and we have all kind of cute things belonging to children, including this television that's not unplugged, yet there's static going on. So in the last episode we found out um, that Eliza was playing with a girl named Felice, but her parents didn't want her playing with Felice. Considering the drawing of Felice that we found earlier, I believe it was the third episode, uh, I can understand where her parents are coming from. Something- oh, there's a door. Okay. I can't open the hatch without a handle. Okay, we don't have a handle. Okay. doll there. The girl was so sick her parents brought her food to her room. That's the little tray here. Let's see. Poor girl, I hope those butterflies cheered her up. Those aren't drawings, they're prescriptions for medicine. Oh. Okay, so I don't think we have anything else to click on in here. Let me see. Where can we go? Where can we go? Okay, so there's some actions available back at the treehouse. And that's where the drawing of Felice was. So, as you guys can see, I don't have um, quick travel. So, we're going to have to go through the house and the property room by room. Okay, what can we do here? We still have those matches. And we have all the blocks now. Do the blocks go here? Yes, they do. Click on each cube until the image it displays corresponds to the item drawn beneath it. Okay. So this one is star. Oh, wait. Star, moon. Okay. Cat, is there a dog? Or the mouse. Cat's a mouse. There's a watering hose. I mean, watering can. Yeah, it's a plant. Music to music note. Oh. So right now we have. It looks like a church. Man, cemetery, ghost. It makes sense chronologically. Okay. okay. So I already read that. I found a case with a combination lock on the girl's bed. I knew something important was inside of it. Why else would someone have placed it? in the arms of a creepy looking toy. It took a while, but I figured out a combination a fog, a man, a grave, and a ghost. That's a strange sequence of symbols for a case that belonged to a child. Okay. So now we have the combination. We can go back to the bear. Not gonna lie, guys. This game is really spooky. I know there's some jump scares in here, like the Felice um, jump scare in the third episode. <laughs> that uh, caught me by surprise. Um, so far, there hasn't been anything else, but just letting you guys know, I am on edge with this game. Like, things like this, I'm imagining the bear is going to jump towards us. I mean, look at that. <laughs> okay, so. These two at the very end are correct. No, wait, they're not, because it's the church, the man, the grave, and then the last one is a ghost. Okay. Nothing came forward and killed us. We have a hatch handle, which goes there. Okay. Now we can open it. Greenhouse. It's a very extensive land. Okay, we have a hidden object scene. Before we click on that, 
Okay, there's a mannequin. There's something under the stone slab. Unfortunately, the slab is too heavy to move. Could use that grinding stone to sharpen something. We can sharpen the dull razor. Okay. Great, now the razor is sharp. Don't know why we need a sharp razor, but okay. I know it's best in these games to not question anything, but... It's human nature to question, especially when said human is on age. Cutting the ropes will lower the mannequin. We have a razor for that. Oh, it's slowly lowering. Oh, man. Okay, do we need to put it together? There's a note. March 8th, 1982. I don't know where Eliza got those pills. I found her too late to save her. Oh. Thankfully, Greg told me about the secret experiments the scientists on the military base were conducting. Called Operation Fog, they had created a machine that could extract a soul from a dead body. Oh. Looks like a needle we can grab. We stuck... We snuck into the laboratory last night, and now the soul of our beloved child is inside a special camera on the base. But nobody nobody but my husband and me knows about this. I already knew this game was dark, but this got so dark so quickly with just this. Okay, so Eliza accidentally overdosed on pills. I'm willing to say right now that that was the work of Felice. Just gonna throw that out there. I think that Felice got her the pills. So she's inside of a camera on the base. Okay. So Eliza committed suicide while she was hallucinating, but thanks to her parents, her soul was preserved on the military base. Okay. Are we just taking this in stride? When I opened the hatch in the secret room, I discovered a passage to an old greenhouse. The place was full of mannequins and sewing equipment. It seems Eliza's mother enjoyed making clothes there while surrounded by flowers. I found a page from her diary, too. It revealed how the girl died and the nature of the experiments that were a part of Operation Fog. It turns out Eliza's soul could be on the military base in a machine that can store your soul after your death. Incredible! Yep, we're just taking this in stride. But, um... For those of you, um, especially since I forget from time to time, we are still in this house because we need to find our daughter. If this were me, I'd been gone a long time ago. Okay, so yeah, the hidden object scene. I'm just looking around what we can do right now before we get to that. Oh, there's another place. Let me get to. Let me get to that hidden object scene. Okay, so we have a needle. It looks like we have we need thread for something. Okay. But that still doesn't explain why the ghost of Eliza's mother was in the bathtub. Because that looked like it was a sign that she had. Eliza's mother had committed suicide. I don't know, guys. There's still a lot to go. And if you look at the map, I'll show you guys the map when I'm done with this, but, um, there's a lot to this game, so this will be a very long-running series, because there's quite a bit we have to get through. There's a large area, and I think the military base is part of that. I think we have to go on to the military base. So we might see Eliza's ghost, and I definitely know they're not going to just throw out Felice without um, explaining that in some way. There's an arrow. Okay. So I have a triangle, crowbar, and rope. Okay, so we have two out of four triangles, rope and a crowbar. Okay. Okay, I can't open the gate. While that wire is wrapped around his handles. And the razor won't cut it. Pun not intended. 
did not realize I just said that. Crowbar, okay. So, we need some wire cutters. But there's another area down here. Secret room. Oh, okay, so we're going back. Okay. Where... So where do we have to go next? Uh, things we can do where we are and things over here. Uh, this map doesn't have clear indicators. But yeah, this looks like the military base because that looks like barracks over there. There's houses in between. And that looks like a hospital with the H at the top, the helipad at the top. Okay. So, let me find out going. Oh, there's a hidden object seen there. That's what we need to do. Is this corresponds with the map? Yes, it does. Okay. Hidden object seen. Okay. Okay. Lighter. Torch. This is so hard to find. Torch. So we have the lighter and we got the torch. Okay, got a few more things in our inventory. Okay, so I will leave this off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!